I'm going to start from light to dark. Again, the number is 570. I'm going to work on the highlight first. See the highlights in the forehead. Uh, highlights you know, on top of the nose. values okay you're gonna turn the whole freight into um, green values the pressure here is uh, light to medium and also you cross hatching technique here See, I'm still using cross hatching technique here, but the chalk seems smaller and closer. And I changed the direction too because I want to build up the, uh, the forms. Right here in the darkest area. I can use a 595 just a little bit. Right where it's just a little bit dark in here, just a little bit here. Not a lot. Like that, just a little bit. In the shadow of her eye socket here, just a, just a little bit. Same thing with here. Almost done with uh, the rain foundation. I'm still working on the values uh, a little bit more before I move on to the neck colors. The neck color I'm using is a yellow ochre. You can see what I'm using here. The color is 685. Uh, and I have another darker a uh, yellow ochre it's a 615 okay I use 615 in the shadow area like this just a little bit not too much just a few chalks I'm still using a uh, cross hatching technique here.
very light touch. On the darker area here, I use 615. layers of this color so uh, we're gonna move on to the next color is lavender Uh, the color I'm gonna start is the 310 right here. Uh, I at this stage when I'm teaching I call it changing temperatures. So first I'm gonna start with the nose, okay? Very light touch. I don't want to change the values. I just want to change the hues or changing color. Do you see that? Nose is start looking warm. Just top of the nose. That's what I learned from my teacher, and uh, and also learned from by by myself. Copy uh, master work. The master like to have the nose is warm. The ears are very red actually. A uh, little bit of the cheekbone around the eyes. Okay, just see a little bit of the nose here. Makes you look beautiful already. Next, we're gonna do around the eyes, okay? The lower lid, the corner of the eye, the tear duct in here, the upper lid, just very light touch. Just warm it up a little bit. Warm up the eyes, okay? The eye needs to be darkened, so we're not, we're not there yet. Same thing with this eye. So I, <clears throat> based on the feet, uh, the reference right here, I'm gonna add a little bit of warmness around the hair too. Okay, the ears. The ears is very red in general, okay? And it's translucent. If you have your ear against the sun, you can feed through it. Next, gonna be some on the lips. Okay, yeah, as you can see, some in the, you know, in the chin. And this light here is warmer, so just the reflection light here is warmer. I'm changing it too. I want to keep the value of changing 
the hills, okay? So I'm gonna start <coughs> you the lighter red. This one is 311, okay? But this one is more pink. I'm gonna add in her cheekbone. Very light touch, okay? Just like you do makeup for her. You can see how it's changing right now. You see how it's changing? Think about the form and the shape too. I'm not to do this. I'm working around the cheekbone. I can turn she into, I'm doing makeup for her right now. Flower fly a lips here. I will go for details on the lips, the eye, but for now I need to put some highlight back. I put a little bit of highlight on her nose here, need to be a little bit stronger. I also want to have this highlight here a little bit stronger as well. Then I would like to see beautiful highlight on the cheekbone, making a little bit like this. You see that? Then you can see the value here this should be a little bit stronger as well. So we bring the highlight back, okay? Then the next step I'm gonna do is you black to go to the outlines a little bit more. 